Hello everyone, welcome back to Hashicorp Certified Terraform Associate Cloud Certification Catalyst Program. This is question number 10. Okay, so this is a very standard question and trust me, this is the type of question that you are going to get the most in the exam. So the last nine questions that you saw, all of them were actually a little bit much more complicated and tried to be more complicated than the actual exam questions, which are much, much simpler. All of them though had were only focused on certain parts of Terraform that will surely come in your exam. But this is the kind of format that you will get. So straightforward questions with answers. So see, please identify the offerings which are unique to Terraform Enterprise. They're not available in either the Terraform open source version or the Terraform cloud version. There can be more than one answer. So as you know, Terraform comes in three versions. When the Terraform open source, you can just download and use. Then there is Terraform cloud and Terraform Enterprise. So Terraform Cloud, it is a PaaS type of Terraform. Okay, so where they are hosting basically Terraform for you. So it also comes in three types, free plan, team plan, team and governance plan. Each of them have some extra advantages over and above what Terraform Open Source already provides, mostly geared towards enterprise management, team collaboration and stuff like that. Third is Terraform Enterprise. It is also something like Terraform Cloud only, but it is running on your infrastructure and it also provides some extra benefits also. And it's also obviously much more costlier than either the Terraform, uh, any version of Terraform Cloud. Okay, so this is something where you need to know what are the options that comes in Terraform Open Source? What are something extra that comes in Terraform Cloud and what is it that comes in Terraform Enterprise? Now, let me tell you something that you will get at least two to three questions on this part. I will go to the actual documentation where this is very explicitly maintained and mentioned. And if you just remember that, you will be okay. And I have some sort of a trick, for example, to remember that. So in this case, I can tell you what is the answer. The answer is number one, SAML or single sign-on. Number C, audit logs. Number D, private network connectivity. And number G, clustering. So as you can see, a, C, D, and G, which is cluster. Okay. Now, B, Sentinel, this is actually offered in Terraform Cloud only. Okay. And then, this full API coverage offered in Terraform Cloud only. F, VCS integration offered in Terraform Cloud only. So, these are not things which are extra in Terraform Enterprise. So, you have to know something. Everything that is offered in Terraform Cloud, the last version is already included in Terraform Enterprise. Okay, and Terraform Cloud also does this, follows the same. So everything that is in Terraform free is obviously in Terraform plan, it adds something more. Terraform plan, everything that there is in Terraform plan, a little bit more is added and made Terraform governance and team plan. And everything that is in Terraform team and governance plan, a little bit more is added and made into Terraform enterprise. So it is a gradual progression. So you need to remember what is it. And also just mentioned that there are some stuff which are much more geared towards enterprise, like for example, single sign-on self-hosted in DC, in your own hosting center, hybrid network connectivity to your private data center, clustering, audit logs, these are much more needed for enterprise setups where you are hosting Terraform yourself in your own data center. In this case, basically Terraform Enterprise plays a very good role. So as I will go to the documentation now, okay, so as you can see, this is the answer and this is the documentation so this is already i think opened here so you can just check this so this one slide is going to get you two to three questions okay so as you can see you have terraform open source so infrastructure as code provisioning and management so most of the basic stuff of terraform is already available for free then what is terraform cloud as you can see it is for teams so open source is for individuals as soon as you have three to four guys who are working on the Terraform open source version, it becomes a mess. Okay, so for teams, it's Terraform Cloud collaboration and automation for practitioners and small teams using Terraform. So this is not again for enterprises, but at least for some teams. Then for organizations, you get Terraform Enterprise. So this is a private installation of Terraform with collaboration, policy and governance and self-service infrastructure for the organization. So as you can see, everything that is in open source is in Terraform Cloud. Terraform Cloud, everything is already in Terraform Enterprise. Okay. Now let's very quickly see the Terraform Cloud options. So as you can see, there is a free plan. There is a team plan. There is a team and governance plan. So everything that is in the free plan is in the team plan. Everything that is in the team plan is in the team and governance plan. So this is free up to five users. So you can use it. 
then team twenty dollars per user per month team and governance seventy dollar so these are all of the things that are already available directly so just as i said full api coverage okay this is on vcs integration this is already available in terraform cloud so there is no point of actually including that in terraform enterprise basically they are already included so they are not extra stuff that is why they are not being mentioned here so if you come here this sentinel okay you can see sentinel is actually a part of this terraform governance plan so they are not something that is only available for terraform enterprise what is only available for terraform enterprise all of these uh, disabled ones saml or sso the saml or sso okay audit logs as you will see there is audit log, audit logs private network connectivity all of these things are what is in an enterprise so in an enterprise you can see it is self hosted okay so you can see all of the first few things up to here up to here is already there in the uh, terraform cloud best plan which is a team and governance plan everything else is extra similar sso extra clustering extra private dc installation extra private network connectivity self hosted audit logs but your questions will not only for terraform enterprise it can also happen that what is it in difference between terraform what are the so this question can come in this fashion saying please identify the offerings which are unique to terraform cloud and not available in the terraform open source version okay in this case your answer will be sentinel it is available in terraform cloud full api coverage and vcs integration so your answers change but your concept remains the same you still need to basically know by heart every single feature that is extra in every single version so some features are more in terraform cloud compared to open source some more in terraform enterprise compared to terraform cloud and even within terraform uh, cloud there are some stuff extra which is very easy to know so for example between free and team the only thing that is extra in roles and team management and between team and team and governance the only thing that is extra is sentinel and cost estimation so the only thing basically you need to remember is what is available for free in terraform so as soon as you remember that like this is integration workspace management secure variable storage remote runs and applies full api coverage private module registry you can add that with that roles and team management and get the terraform cloud team version at sentinel and cost estimation you get the terraform cloud team and governance plan along with that i have single sign on audit logs clustering self hosted private network connectivity private dc installation you get terraform enterprise simple as that so please pay some attention to this link and please try to remember it either logically or memorize it or whatever or use it and then you will know better okay so this is it this is the kind of questions that you are going to get a lot standard questions to the point you give the answer and you get the marks there might not be questions with more than one answers but there will be questions of this pattern which will not be very complicated but they will be strict to the point asking you and trying to understand whether you know a particular part of terraform or not thank you everyone please share and uh, your feedback in the comment section